Good morning, everyone. It is February 22nd at like 8 a.m. and I'm about to start work on Majuku Dreamer Hanamaru. And for this costume, rather than doing a full build log, since we've been doing a lot of Love Live costumes recently, we're just going to do a build vlog. So I'm just going to show you kind of my process and how long it takes and anything that I think is extra tricky, I'll show you how to do. But otherwise, I'm just going to kind of talk to you about the costume, if that makes sense. So I'm working on Majuku Dreamer Hanamaru for my dance group Shiokaze Sales. I'm really, really excited to perform with them. I, this is my first time performing with them. I'm a new member and I'm, I'm really, really excited about it. Um, these costumes will be for Nihon Matsuri, which is at the end of April here in Utah. And I'm just super stoked. We've done a lot of great planning and the costumes are going to come together beautifully. So I already have all my materials, but the first thing I'm going to be working on is this guy. Um, we have these lovely petticoats, but I'm going to be adding an extra layer on top of them so they're no longer see-through because you can see part of like the petty on the Majuka Dreamer outfits. But this includes so many ruffles. We're doing circle skirts with three tiers of ruffles. So that's about, I approximated 900 inches of ruffles. Oh my God. So let's get back to ruffling. Last night I was able to get all of that done, which that's a good amount of ruffle. That should get me through at least one layer, maybe a layer and a half. And then I have all of this that already has its gather stitch. I just need to actually pull it. So today I am hoping to finish up this bit of gathery circle-y ruffle skirt. And then I want to move on to the color blocked over skirt. I've already patterned that. And hopefully by the time this video comes out, I should have a full tutorial up on my website, which is ellieeverts.com. So please make sure to go check that out if you're interested in Mijuku Dreamer, how you make it, anything like that. So I guess let's get sewing. <laughs> well then, it is now 10 o'clock. It's been about two hours that I spent working on this freaking ruffled skirt. So let me just say that this is one of the very few times since I have not had access to a serger that I wish I had access to a serger. Like, so all of these ruffles were folded over, first of all, and then I gathered them by hand, which is fine. That's not a big deal. But since they were gathered by hand, they all have these little edges underneath them. Let's see if I can get that in there. Right, so it has this raw edge and I care about craftsmanship and my raw edges, so I try, oh God, I, my hair looks bad. Um, but I try not to have raw edges on my things, on my, my projects. So I went over the top with this zigzag to kind of hold everything down and hide that edge. And I'll probably go through here and trim that up again. But if I had a serger, I wouldn't care. I would have just top stitched them on and that would have been lovely. Even the bottom I had to go through with a zigzag and finish off. Which the bottom looks really freaking nice. It's just these middle tiers that I don't love. But anyway, there it is. I think it's pretty cute. On top of that is going to be um, the wrap skirt and then the little apron. So you won't see any of this stuff up here. You'll only see down here. It's really cute though. Um, I'm having flashbacks to like when I made Madoka. <laughs> and that cupcake petticoat, which was a million yards of ruffles, but I had a serger then, so it wasn't too bad. But anyway, so next I'm gonna go ahead and work on that color block skirt. I wanna try and at least knock out the skirt today. Um, I might also get around to striping the satin for the bodice and the sleeves. But yeah, so I am going to start working on that. Hey everyone, it is March 1st. And I spent quite a bit of yesterday working on Majuku Dreamer Hanamaru. And I'm sorry I didn't vlog while I was working on it, but sometimes you just kind of want to sew and not worry about recording or talking about what you're doing or anything like that. So that's what I did. So let me show you what I got done though. 
because I think it looks pretty cool. This is, that's a different Mario. That's not the one we're working on. Ta-da! So, what I worked on this weekend is I made all of this striped fabric. This is made from two different colors of satin that I cut into three inch strips and then sewed together. Um, so I made about a yard of this custom striped fabric and I'm hoping that's enough for everything. I might have to make a little bit more for the sleeves, but the bodice is done. So that was kind of the hard part um, or the part that I had to have the biggest sections for, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, and then after that, I cut out my pattern. This is based on a kimono pattern. So it's a very simple square pattern. Um, we haven't set sleeves yet. We haven't quite um, decided on the pattern, but we will do that eventually. <laughs> we'll get there. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna set little cap sleeves into this and then we'll also get our collars on. But right now that's what I've got. I have punk rock belt on there cause this seam underneath is kind of ugly. But anyway, so yeah, I connected the entire bodice together and then I did a gather stitch on the two front panels just so it would fit onto the skirt. And then in the back, I did this teeny tiny box. Well, not teeny tiny, it's a pretty big, it's a pretty substantial box pleat um, here in the back, which I think the box pleat looks really nice and it'll give room for my shoulders to move rather than being a straight flat panel. So once we have the OB on here, it'll really kind of, I don't know, it'll squeeze stuff together and it'll look nice. And I'm happy the skirt still looks really good, especially once it's attached. So yeah, um, the next thing I'm gonna do for Mijuku is set the sleeves and then add the collars. I am waiting on the rest of my group just to make sure we kind of all are on the same page and things like that on the sleeves and the collars. I don't wanna go ahead and then be like, oh, oops, gotta undo that because that's not what we're doing. So I'm gonna kind of wait on that and I'm waiting on my Obi fabric. It's from AliExpress and I've never bought from there before, but um, they said they're behind on stock or something like that. So it's gonna take a little while to get to me. So I'm glad I ordered it now and not next month or the one after since this is for the end of April and I really wanna have it done by the end of this month, which is March. Um, but yeah, so other than that though, it's pretty simple. I have most of it finished. There's not a whole lot left to do, which is awesome. So yeah, um, let's just chit chat. Are you guys okay with that? Okay. So yeah, I really love this costume. This is one of my favorite costumes for Hanamaru. It's one I've wanted to make for quite a while. Um, so I'm really excited to be finally getting the chance to make it, especially with a nine person group. And we've been having rehearsals and everything and our dance is really starting to come together, which is awesome. So I'm just, I'm really happy and excited about this costume. So yeah. I think that's what I'm trying to say, is that I'm happy and excited. Okay. <laughs> Alright, um, I don't know when we're going to work on her again, but I will hopefully see you then and not the day after. So yeah, bye bye Good morning everyone. Today is Monday, March 4th. It's Hanamaru's birthday. Woo! Um, but I wasn't really planning on working on Majuku today since I have some editing and some shopping and things to do, but my video is taking some time to process and get ready to be edited. So I am real quick attaching some sleeves to my Majuku Dreamer um, kimono style top. But these are just some very, very basic, not even cap sleeves, they're just sleeves, like super simple. Um, but one of the girls in our group, Arrico, she drafted a sleeve pattern for us and I have altered it slightly um, just to fit my arm's eye. But we have this extremely basic sleeve. It's really cute though, nice and short and adorable. And then I fixed up the arm's eyes in my kimono top as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this all out of my stripey material and my lining material. Um, and I'm gonna get it connected to my top. So I'm hoping I can get that connected and then I might just move on to the, the band as well, depending on how long this video takes to be ready for processing. Um, so yeah, I'll show you what it looks like once I get that little cap sleeve on there. All right. Okay, so we're just gonna add the bands that go around the neckline. 
This is really easy. It's just two long strips of fabric. It's basically like a waistband. They don't have to be bias cut or anything. So they're just two strips of fabric, the whole length of our neckline, and then they're five inches wide and they'll fold over onto themselves. So the way I'm gonna do this is I'm going to have a purple one that's about four and a half inches and then a magenta one that's five. So that way when I sew these on together, they'll be two separate layers so they can flap um, if needed. But they will, um, you'll be able to see the magenta one. God, train of thought. So yeah, I'm gonna do that real quick and I'll show you once we're done. Welcome to the BB bathroom. Um, I am trying on my Mijuku Dreamer kimono. I did a couple fixes, so hold on, I'm gonna flip you around. So I added the little band along the neckline and then I also took up the waist by four inches it looks like three or four and but I think that this is about right let's what do you think oh, sorry you're in the mirror okay what do we think about that I think it looks really cute I'm not 100% sold on the sleeves um, but this is the pattern my group is using and I don't want to stray too far from it um, so yeah I need to fix that duck tail that's gonna drive me freaking insane we'll get there so this is what our top is looking like right now. I have a cotton lining already made up, so I am just going to go ahead and attach the lining. I'm gonna attach it along the neckline just to give this a really clean and sturdy edge, and then I'm gonna understitch, and then I'll do by hand the waist. Yeah, I might try to actually do some of the waist by machine as well, so I just have a little hole to hand stitch. Yeah, so that's what we're working on, but so, okay, quick note. Um, I said I made these five inches. I cut off about an inch, two, 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 an inch, inch and a half. So they're sitting at about maybe an inch right now, an inch wide. Um, but I interface them with the interfacing I use for like waistbands and stuff. It's like a medium to heavyweight interfacing. And I interface both of these bands. So they're like, I don't know. They look really clean. They look like a kimono would because a kimono does have those really stiff neck bands. Um, but they're definitely a little much. I don't know if you can tell, but they sub they don't bite into my neck, um, but they do. I don't know, if I were to pose like this, it wouldn't be very pretty, I guess is the best way to put it. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and add a lining and then we're gonna be done with this top and I'm just waiting for the uh, this material the yukata no mm, ah mm. what's the name hakama the hakama pant um material so yeah okay i'll be back soon bye bye hey guys today is march 23rd sorry for my music it probably is going to clash with whatever i put over this but i don't want to get up right now and change it um, I'm here working on Mijuku Dreamer Hanamaru. If you can't tell, my life's been a little crazy. There's an air bed in my craft room. It's cool. We're cool. Um, but I got this really beautiful brocade for the overskirt on Mijuku Dreamer Hanamaru. So I am cutting out a couple circles. And once these are cut out, I'm going to sew them together. And we're going to do a little bit of pleating, let them hang for the night. So really this is just a matter of, I wanna be able to let this hang so I can work on it as soon as possible. Um, but yeah, so I'm working on Mijuku Dreamer. I'm pretty excited. This is a fun costume to work on and I'm excited to wear it with Shiokaze Sales. So see you once this is cut out. Oh my gosh guys okay so i let my skirt hang for a little bit for mijuku and i am just kind of piecing the pieces together right now and i like i just did this french seam and i didn't pin it even i just like held the two pieces together and stitched but look this is perfect pattern matching i don't know if you can tell the pattern matches up exactly and i wasn't even going for that how cool is that? Like, that doesn't happen. But there we go, patterns match up. I'm gonna pleat it now. Hey guys, Ellie here. It is Monday, March something it. 
and I am doing a quick fit test of Mijuku Dreamer Hanamaru. So hold on, I'm gonna flip ya. As you can see, I have everything that's done of Mijuku Dreamer on. Here are my comments. I love the top, the top is great. I love the underskirt, that's great. Why can't you freaking see it though? I don't know if I need to hem the sides shorter, which is kind of what I'm leaning towards, I think. Maybe make them like this long instead of, hold on. Okay, pause. So what if we hemmed those sides a bit more? Oh, well I guess that does look right, huh? That versus that. Yeah, okay, so we'll hem that. Um, anyway, so yeah, we need to hem that. Um, my group said nine inch waistbands. I have a very short torso, so I'm like, nine inches, this is, well this is folded over even, so this is less than nine inches, and it's not very flattering. So, um, yeah. I also don't have a closure on it yet, so I mean, maybe that'll help once it's like actually pulled in all the way. Um, but I'm thinking I'm going to fold that over. But I'll keep it at nine, and then we can just fold it over at the event if that becomes the case. Um, I need to make the little pink band that goes up here. I need to make this, and then the sleeves. Um, but we're pretty much done. Anyway, I'm gonna go record a dance practice in the costume just to kind of see how it flows. And I guess you'll be seeing that, so let's go. guys there is just a little bit less than a month left until the Nihon Matsuri contest which is where my group is wearing Mijuku Dreamer so I wanted to show you guys what I've done because this has kind of been an in-between project project so I've just kind of been finishing bits of it as I can but last week I worked on the sleeves with these adorable little bows look at those are those not the cutest thing you've ever seen that one's a little uneven but anyway um, so I finished up the sleeves and I reworked the hem. Remember last time I said the hem of the skirt was a little too long. So I shortened this over skirt. It still needs to be pressed because it's flipping all over the place. Um, and then I also got our sequin stretchy stuff in. So today I'm going to go through and I'm going to make the little arm holsters. I don't know what you would call these things. I'm gonna make the arm holsters. I'm gonna try and finish up the bow for the OB, the front bow at least. The back bow I'm gonna leave for a little bit later because I need yellow thread. Oops. Um, so we're gonna try and finish up that. I'm also gonna try and add the stripe that goes here and the ruffle that goes around the neck. So really, I kinda wanna finish it today except for the butt bow and the headband. So, let's get to work, huh? All right. Hey guys, it is April 25th and I am going to finish my Mijuku Dreamer Hanamaru today. All that's left is the butt bow and I'm really excited to just kind of whip it up and be done with the costume. We perform this weekend um, at Nihon Matsuri and I am super stoked. So um, this butt bow should be pretty simple. I think I'm gonna make like three Pipsy bows and then um, an organza ruffle and kind of just it all together. The butt bows on their costumes are kind of all over the place, um, especially in the live version. They're just like really big and ruffly. Um, so that's what I'm going to try and recreate. But we're taking the butt bows as an opportunity to um, kind of self-express and do whatever we want. So everyone in the group is going to have a different butt bow, which is awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and make that and I'll show it to you when we're done. Hey guys, so I have finished my Mijuku Dreamer Hanamaru costume. Please ignore the red eyebrows, I just recorded a video with Ruby. 
and I didn't want to change my eyebrows just for this little test, but I am trying everything on and it looks so cool. I love this bow. Super cute, right? Here's the butt bow that we did yesterday. Everything is done. Looks really cute. And I'm super excited for Saturday. So I think that wraps up this build log. The only next thing to do is to perform. So I'm looking forward to that and I'll be sure to share um, a video and vlog of my experience at Nihon Matsuri. So be on the lookout for that. But yeah, this was Mijuku Dreamer. It was super fun to make. It was pretty easy. I feel really comfortable in it. It's a little hot, surprisingly. I thought it was gonna be cool, but it's hot. Um, but anyway, it's really, really cute. I like wearing it and I'm excited to wear it with my group. So I guess that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this build vlog. I know it was a little all over the place because I worked on this costume for like three months on and off, but um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And as always, keep sewing, stay positive and have fun. I'll see y'all later. Sit down.